Give us something, Joe Danaher. No, very quiet celebration. No celebration. No, just a couple of uh, high tens. No grab the jump. Oh, what is going on? Now in this episode I'm going to be showing you a day in the life of a retired athlete. It's a big Saturday coming up. Now I've got Chances Footy at 10am, then i got my daughter's first birthday at 11, and then I have my own football game. We are, we are playing Maruchador at 2 o'clock at Morningside, Jack Esplin Oval. Big game, hopefully I can get the dub. Coming back from my LCL on my knee. Uh, it's meant to be a six week injury, but I got bored of being injured, so I came back a few weeks early. So we'll see how I go if I get through that. What's up LeBron? What's up Jordan? So yeah, I'm gonna take you through the day. And tonight I'm commentating Brisbane Lions versus Essendon Bombers on SEN. It's gonna be a long, long day. Enjoy the vlog. It's just gonna be the highlights package and then show you what it's all about. Nothing special, nothing sexy, but uh, it's just a day in the life. So let's go. Hey.
Flint Core scoreboard for the first quarter, advancing everyday life. There's still no score Danaher! yet. Danaher! 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 Let's Danaher! Let's Danaher! fly! And he used Mason Redman as his launching pad, but Joe Danaher launches himself into the night sky at the Gabba. He was and takes an early contender for Mark of the uh, Day. Look at that! He has gotten up so high. Poor Redman. That was a great mark. As you see, he just launched himself at it. Then he had too much time with the ball going inside. 50 didn't know to go for goal or hit someone up, and he's put it out of bounds and big throwing coming in. And you'll hit the uh, booze. The booze. And now, well, How this dare is, they? This has been the big talking point of the week. Now, the yes. Essendon fans yeah. are going to boo Danaher all night long. Yeah. Now, that's what you expect. I'm all for it. I'm and all for it. What's the harm? Boo. Really? He, le he left Essendon. He was a, you know, a massive player at that club, and he's come to Brisbane and had a, such a great career up here. They're allowed to boo him. Tom Stewart got his fair share last night. Of course, they had incident against Richmond last year. But Geelong. He's got to finish himself. But that Joe, great to play. directly in front. Needs to get the Lions first goal on the board. He makes no mistake. Give us something, Joe Danaher. No, very quiet celebration. No He's, celebration. No, just a couple of uh, high tens. No with grabbing his the jumper. No grabbing the jumper. But the Lions get their first on the board through uh, Joe Danaher. He's got the Frozen song for his goal celebration, which I don't mind. I don't know if he chose that, but that was a great passage of play. Frog, uh, uh, Ryan Lester off the back line, really half that contest, got to go on forward. And the two major ball winners in, in Kadeen Coleman with seven disposals and Shima Clage with six. They finished that work off, as you see there. Joey Danaher put it through. He can keep going. The note on the he mark. Loads up. He loads up the big bomb. Does he Joe Danaher. It. And he makes no mistake. There you go. Joe Danaher gets his second. What was happening on the mark there? I have no idea. Well, Nick Hine was going into the area. He had to run away. But the umpire didn't pull he Danaher didn't around. Whereas the other has played to stand on the mark. They're in court. Well, he's kicked only finds pain, though. Danaher's pointing at the top of the goal square. He's going to go out that way. On the broadcast swing, he swings it to the hot spot. Oh, oh Danaher Completely uncontested. There's about four Essendon players looking Confusion. around saying, what happened there? Redmond, Zerk Thatcher with the new jumper on, and also young Baldwin. Well, that's just extraordinary how they allow just uh, play of Danaher. That's communication, I think. There's yeah. a little bit of a breakdown there because Redmond had you a chance it. to go you for it. You take it. No, I'll take it. You take it. Yeah. No. Nah, 26, who's that? Baldwin, yeah, but Baldwin I'll, I'll, you go. can't blame him, the answer. No, you've got to go. I don't care how old you but are. But in the end, Joe Danaher is trying to put Lions' first goal on the board since the 26-minute mark Hear of the their first quarter. They're the booze. He, makes he doesn't care. He's kicked three. Boom, all you like. He's kicked all of the outside. McCluggage to Cameron. Back to McCluggage. Oscar He's McInerney. outside 50. Oscar. McInerney at the back. Oh, and he's, he's so got tall. Well called, Mitch Robertson. That is our local expert, and that is a job well done, Mitch. You called it. He is freakishly tall, and when you put your arms up, he's very hard to stop. Opposition get very nervous when he's doing that because he can't chop the arms. He's as strong as an ox. And, and great great work there by Shiwi. He took his time, had patience. Danaher let up. He could have gone there because on fire, but he put it over to Oscar, and he rarely misses. And I just... The big O, win. two goals, two so far this season. Poetry, bang! Great ungainly action, but effective to hit from the crowd in the background. Oscar gets his first. Possible turnover, that merit. Oh, Hyde oh, went straight into Zach Bailey. Did not see him coming. Did not see him coming at all. And he's been pink for holding the ball, but he had... Give it back to him. They could get a 50. And it is 50. And it is, I can see it from a mile away. When you get a little bit embarrassed with a great tackle, you want to hold on for a bit longer and let your teammates get back, and as, that's just pushing it too far. As caught by a local expert, Mitch Robinson, a job well done calling that one. And going for his second. Dead in front. We gave him a wrap last time. Dead in front, 100% accuracy. Lane's he back. loves it. He goal loves up high, does not move. And the Lions get the all-important first goal of the final term. Half time. And the Brisbane Lions end up with a goal to Cam Rayner to seal the deal. 12-15-87. Uh, biggest lead of the game happening after the final siren. 42 points. Lions run out winners here at the Gabba on home turf once again. G'day Will, it's Robbo here mate. First of all, congratulations on the win. How, how are you keeping a level head? Because you, you, you're setting this competition on fire. You've had, a, you've had 28 touches tonight. Uh, four clearances, 273 metres gain. You're on fire at the moment. How, how are you going about level head and, and making sure that you know you just focus on the footy and not the outside noise? Yeah, I think um, I'm just trying to build week to week. I think you know I can, I can go to another level and, and continue to go to, to, to another level throughout the year. So I think just, you know coming in each week and um, trying to get better. It's, you know the great facilities we have to get better physically and, and watching vision and, and just trying to keep building as the team builds. Um, so. 
you know, it's, it's been nice to, to string some wins together. And I think, you know, us, us the midfield group and as a team can um, can keep building. And um, I'm just looking to do that uh, as part of that unit. You got a big game. Uh, is, it the, is it the Q Clash next week? Yes. Well, What's the chances that you can win your dad's medal? Because <laughs> I've won one. What's the chances of that? I don't know. I've sort of I've dreamed about it as, as a youngster. Um, yeah. so, How good's you that? Know, yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll just I'll just focus on um, you know. No, no, we'll, no, 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 uh, no, no. If you get a no, chance to win your answer? first coup, no, I don't like that answer. If you can win it, <laughs> no, mate, you like go it. outside the team rules and you do what you got to do. Because that would be a very, well, we'll very good story. Hopefully you get the win first. <laughs> You'll be all right. All right, all right. He's, got, he's got to go jump in the meeting, I reckon, and yeah. have the showers with yeah. the boys. Thanks to uh, Will Ashcroft there joining us on AFL Nation. He's got such a level head part of this uh, post. Well, he's so uh, professional. Like, it's crazy. I know you grew up in a football family and your dad can tell you how it works, but yep. we're every, like, that's how he honestly is off field too. Like, I've, I had a few games with him last year and we had a good chats and we played golf together. He what? is as professional as it gets. We're not far away.